talking of treatment centers, this day newspaper has handed over a testing, tracing and treatment center to the federal government in Abuja. The center, which is fully equipped with an intensive care unit, a mobile testing center with a capacity to conduct up to 200 tests per day and scaled up to a 10,000 tests per day in the nearest future, treatment wards for patients, oxygen ventilators and a dialysis machine is located in the heart of the Federal Capital Territory at the popular Disney Dome. The gesture of goodwill is in partnership between the Disney newspaper, Shahara Group, the Central Bank of Nigeria and the China Civil Engineering Construction Corporation. He has always been to strive for the best and prepare for the worst. We are striving to have the best outcomes and also preparing for the worst. So this uh, 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 edifice you see right here is uh, serving that purpose of being able to help us prepare for the very worst and uh, we are uh, particularly grateful that it's an addition to the assets we have on ground. What started off as a little plant has now grown up, to, grown to be a forest as you would see later, you would see the, um, the COVID uh, mobile lab, the hotels etc. So for us we started with something small, but it's grown to be something much bigger. But we are overwhelmed and happy to be part of this. This may be the opportunity for Nigeria to stop paying lip service uh, to molecular sciences and actually start executing and actually start investing in education, actually start investing in healthcare. For the first time in a very long time, everyone in this country knows the name of a disease and is speaking that disease at the same time and is talk everyone is talking about antibody based tests, antigen based tests, PCR based tests, things that would have never been in the lingua. There is now a lot of attention in the healthcare sector and in the science sector, not just in Nigeria globally. And I hope that this is that becomes one of the positives from COVID-19 because uh, it made us as a country begin to build the infrastructure we need for the future. We've all come together to fight the common enemy, COVID-19. And by the grace of God, it will come and pass.